Hi, Susan Lazar Hart here, your congruency coach, empowering seekers and creatives to create a life they truly love. Mm, sounds so good. Welcome, welcome, welcome to your transformational, motivational mindset Monday. This, yes, this is pre taped. I am on vacay with the kids and the grand beings and uh, moving and grooving around. And of course, you know, I didn't want you to miss out on part three of our theme for this month, which has to do with intuition. Thank you so much for all the comments you've been playing with on our Congruent Living Facebook. I so appreciate you. And uh, let's dive right in. I wanted to start with a question that popped uh, from one of our members. And the question was, Susan, I don't really get the combination of you talk about appreciation, you talk about gratitude, and you talk about intuition. Can you give me some more information on how those play together? Because I'm, I don't, I'm not getting it. <laughs> so <clears throat> let's talk about that. In 1995, researchers from the HeartMath Institute published an article in the American Journal of Cardiology showing that when people experience appreciation, their heart rhythm actually becomes more, co more coherent. Now we know when we're in this place of coherence, of congruent living, of in harmony, we intuit more. We're more aware of what we create greater for us. We get these whispers of awareness, whether you want to call it intuition, whether you want to call it that inner knowing, whether you want to call it whispers of awareness, that's what we're talking about. Now, what does coherence feel like? Well, it's like a quieting of inner of the inner noise and a turning into a clear signal. You know, like when you're listening to a radio, you're tuning in, you're tapping into what you want to listen to. And you all of a sudden you get that clear signal and you go, that's it. Well, that's what cognitive living is. That's what, I mean, congruent living is. That's what coherence is all about. Likewise, you know, when you experience stress, anxiety, fear, worry, or frustration, your heart, you know, your, your heart rhythm starts to go bum, 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 different ways. Your gut contracts. You're not, you're not in congruence with all of the organs and cells and juiciness of having this amazing body. You're not, you're not, you're actually incoherent. Did you ever get like stressed out and you start to go bop, 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 talk like that? And somebody says, you know, hey, I, you're incoherent. I can't understand what you're saying. Well, that's what happens from the inside out, right? We pick up on something. We, we, we're like, buy it as true and real. We don't ask questions. And then all of a sudden, we, that stress, that, that all the chemicals that are there, they take over. So this is what I'm playing with with you this week. Would you be willing to tap in and tune into that coherence from within and play with what that has to do with intuition? Because the truth is, when we experience a coherent heartbeat, when we co experience coherence, whether you, whether you want to call it your chakras in alignment, whether you want to call it being grounded, everybody has their different ways of talking about this. But basically, it's in coherence with who you came here to be and what you came here to do. When you tap into that, you're tapping into your intuition. And you're more connected to your intuition and that deeper part of yourself. So just to reiterate, by tuning into the feelings of gratitude appreciation, you become aware of what you desire in life. You tune in, you tap in to, and to what you truly value. And then you begin to take responsibility for yourself, for your emotions. You start to make choices that honor your needs, your values, and your beliefs. Now, part of the other question that this member asked me is, well, Susan, what if I don't feel like I have anything to appreciate or be grateful for? I mean, look what's going on in the world and everything is like negative. And just, I had actually had that conversation with somebody recently and I'm like, there's actually another way to be with all of this. So just as a sidebar, at the beginning of every session with my clients and at the start of Congruent Living um, Academy, with our sessions, I'll ask my clients or the members of the Congruent Academy, what are we celebrating? What are you celebrating today? What's a win? What's a win? Now, 
sometimes they stumble. Sometimes they're like saying, I don't know what to say. I don't have a win until I remind them just getting up every day is a brand new day. And a win doesn't have to be, you know, extraordinary. It, it, it's a win can be, oh yeah, I, I actually followed through with what I said that I would do yesterday, today. A win could be, what are you celebrating? You know, sometimes when I was traveling around the world for about 10 years, uh, facilitating energetic body work and relationship classes and, and mindset, you know, I remember giving a talk at one of the women's uh uh, I was invited to give a talk at a women's center and I was talking about what are you grateful for? And I said, you know, actually, when I come home, it's like, oh, I'm so grateful for my toilet paper. I'm celebrating my toilet paper, right? I'm celebrating my bed, my sheets, I'm like yum, right? That's a win, right? A win is a celebration. What are you celebrating today? And to acknowledge that, and if you'll just, you know, try that for yourself, after listening to this and ask yourself, okay, so what is it that I'm celebrating today? It could be that uh, somebody, you know, you bumped into, you hadn't seen before. It could be you picked up the phone and reached out to somebody you hadn't talked to in a long time. Whatever that is, it could be just you followed your intuition and it led you to where you wanted to go. What are you celebrating today? You know, Another example could be today for myself where everybody's coming on in and uh, I was like, oh, I've got, I've got this and this and this and this. And, and I could feel myself imposing, self-imposing a whole contracted viewpoint of looking at what I was, I was asking myself to create with today. And I, I said, you, I said to myself, you know, you're doing that on purpose, right? There is a different way to be with all this. There's a way to celebrate what's being created and truly what if you asked other people to contribute into creating this celebration with your family together and that felt so much lighter and that was a win turning away around your self-talk is a win so by tuning in and tapping into a different way of looking at our lives one that grows with appreciation and gratitude for what we're creating until now, we get to intuit truly what else is possible. Right? Remember, intuit is a verb. Intuition is a noun. There's all different ways of playing with all of this. So by simply saying, up until now, this hasn't been working for me, or up until now, I've created this, there's a brand new way and space of appreciation for what's coming next, for what you can intuit next. And, and that's what I'm asking you to play with. Most of us are surrounded by so much goodness that we take it for granted. Running water, phones that work. Like, wow, I'm so happy and grateful that I have this amazing family that's coming to, to, to gather around. I'm so happy and grateful that we have like a bounty of everything that we need in order to celebrate being together. Up until now, I've been looking at it in a different way by saying, oh, I'm so happy and grateful that there's the appreciation, there's the gratitude, and there's the intuition of truly what else is required and who can contribute. Yeah, what if it was that simple? So simply noticing what feels good, that you've given yourself that space to appreciate what's really here for us to appreciate. I'm going to say that again, write that one down. It's simply noticing that it opens up a space to appreciate what's really here for us to appreciate. This is a brand new day. I'm so happy and grateful that I am alive and breathing and, and the, the world is filled with so many surprises for me today. What can I create that can create greater, that will send out that vibration that creates greater with joy, with appreciation? Because we know the planet loves joy and appreciation. What gift are you refusing to be by lacking the awareness of all? Oh, what can I appreciate today that will change the way I be and the planet is in every way? I wonder what that could create. Fun to play with. So what creates that cohesive, congruent connection to our heart's desire for us, one in which we tap into our intuition every day in every way, is the appreciation 
for who we came here to be, what we came here to be and do. Not what was, even though it could have been just 10 seconds ago. It's a way of speaking to yourself that creates greater, that invites in the appreciation and taps into that intuition, that heart's desire. That's what seekers and creatives are all about, right? Tapping in to what else is possible in creating a life you love. So now it's your turn. What popped for you listening to this transcendational, transformational motivational mindset Monday moment? Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Please share the comments in the section below, whether it's in an email you might be receiving or whether it's on our Monday mindset moment on our Congruent Living Facebook. I adore you all. Thank you so much. Please keep my check in every day. Check in with your comments. I love them. I love those conversations. If you see somebody else writing something, add to that conversation, right? Again, that's what conversations are what create the questions that we actually are required to ask to create a life we love. It just keeps going round and round and up and down and in and out. We are created for more life. That's the universal law of life. We're created for more life. So this is a living conversation on the Transformational Motivational Mindset Monday moment. I adore you all. Live boldly. Love greatly. And be that fearless leader you came here to be. One who's willing to listen to the whispers of awareness that the universe has for thee. Have an amazing, amazing day. Take care. And I'll see you next Monday with another Transformational Mindset moment right here on our Congruent Living Facebook. Bye-bye.